Hey, what's up my chemistry people? It is Mr. Boylan back for some more periodic table fun. In this video, we are going to explain what's known as the core valence radius CVR periodic table. All right, so as we take a look, we're going to break that down into something that looks way more intense. First thing we're going to do is determine what's called the effective core charge or effective nuclear charge for any electron in any main group element on the periodic table. Two, we are gonna determine the number of valence electrons for any main group element on the periodic table. Three, we're gonna determine the relative atomic radius of any main group element on the periodic table and using those core valence radius ideas, we're gonna represent any main group element in CVR format. Okay, so the core valence radius or CVR model separates the valence level electrons from the inner level electrons. Now, why in the heck do we even want to do that? Our focus is going to be on the valence level and the valence electrons because it's those electrons that determine the chemistry for the atom of the element we're dealing with. And I like to think of the valence level as the skin or the crust layer. And when you create a CVR model of the atom, what we're going to do is we're going to separate the valence level from everything else. Now to help you understand this, what I want you to imagine is if I took the earth and cut it in half. Boom! We've got the crust, aka our valence level, and all these other inner level core layers. The CVR model separates the valence level, or the crust, from all of the inner stuff. And the reason why we do that, again, it's the valence level that helps determine the chemistry. Now, we're not gonna ignore all that other stuff. All that other stuff we're gonna group together and we're gonna assign it a charge. Now, for magnesium, we're gonna assign all of that inner stuff a charge of plus two. And here's why. Magnesium has 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 positive protons. And it has 10 what we call inner level electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In other words, everything that has a charge inside of the valence level. So 12 positive protons, 10 negative electrons gives me an overall charge of plus 2. Boom! And so what we're going to start doing is representing atoms in CVR format, where we focus on the valence level, we keep that, it's going to be really important, and then everything else, although still important, we're just going to lump together and assign it a charge, in this case, plus two. Now, how do we determine what that charge is? Well, to determine the effective nuclear charge or effective core charge, sometimes represented ZEF, Z-E-F-F, on an electron, simply subtract the number of inner shell electrons from the number of protons in the nucleus. Again, keep in mind that effective nuclear charge is also referred to or also known as effective core charge. Again, the valence level is the outermost level of electrons and is most important in determining an atom's chemistry. And then lastly, R in CVR, the atomic radius of an atom is the distance from the center of that nucleus to the outer edge of the electron cloud. And that radius, or that R, is determined in large part by the pull of the positive protons in the nucleus and the number of main energy levels. So once again, Coulomb's law is going to come up here which is just going to relate the energy of attraction or repulsion between charged particles. Again, energy of attraction or repulsion directly related to the size of those charges, inversely related to the distance between those charges. So as we think about applying Coulomb's law to CVR formats of atoms, recognize, again, as those charges get larger, the energy of attraction will also increase. However, as the distance over which the effective core charge must pull, as the number of energy levels increases, the force on the valence electrons decreases. So again, coming back to Coulomb's law, as that positive charge in the core gets further and further away from the valence level, the energy of attraction is gonna decrease. But again, the whole purpose of CBR format is to simplify our depiction of the atom and focus on the valence electrons which directly affect the chemistry of the atom and is gonna be most important for us moving forward. Again, come back to the analogy I made of the earth cut in half. 
your valence level is your crust level. We're separating that from everything else. Everything else we're gonna say is the core of our atom. And we're simply going to assign everything inside the valence level a charge. And again, the reason why we do that is it simplifies our model of the atom. A lot easier to draw this than it is to draw this. All right, and that is it for this video. Have a fantastic day.